Hello, cartoon fanatics! Did, did you expect this? I'll, I certainly didn't until I decided to make this video. And that is, Season 2 of Miraculous Ladybug is out, technically, I think. At least, I, I saw it. So, there's gonna, this is just kind of a reflection on sort of my initial reaction to the first couple of episodes of Season 2 that I've seen, just because I'm not exactly sure if they're out in the U.S. or not. It, <laughs> I, I can never tell when things have technically been released. All I know is the other languages got released, and then the English dub also got released somewhere. The, the remains are scattered around the internet, so you can technically find it if you want to go see it. Whether or not it's actually been officially released on the television network, I honestly have no idea. Which is why this is going to be spoiler free, because I don't want to spoil things for people that want to be honest or for those that have no idea what I'm talking about. So here we go. Basically, I'll start from the beginning. This is all about Miraculous Ladybug, which if those of you don't know, is a French slash Korean cartoon, if I'm remembering correctly. It was created by French people, but they have a lot of Korean animators on it. I think I'm remembering that. I could be wrong in those facts. But it's, it's mostly a French cartoon set in Paris about these two superheroes called Ladybug and Cat Noir and their adventures and their little love mishaps and all the adventures they have is with balancing high school and being superheroes. Yay! That, <laughs> that's basically this, the premise of it. And the first season came out, gosh, I don't remember when the first season came out. I think it was last year or a couple of years ago now. At least I remember watching it in my third year of college, the first season. And then it kind of dropped off the face of the planet, and people heard that there was going to be a second season. No one was actually sure what was going to happen. The company itself, because I've been following them on various social media sites, they were going through a lot of different plans and ideas that they had, but whether or not any of that was actually going to come to fruition, none of us had any idea. And then all of a sudden, season two of this came out of nowhere, and it's back. It's back for now, apparently. Which is fun. It's kind of nice to get little surprises like that, especially of a show that you forgot you enjoyed watching, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh yeah, I remember watching this. I guess I'll go and see the new episodes. <laughs> and that's basically where we are right now. So like I said, this video is going to be shorter just because we're not doing spoilers. This is just going to be my general reaction slash reflection based on what I've seen so far. And season one was very much episodic. It kind of had what you could technically count as filler. There were a few episodes that were important to the overall story, but the idea was you have Ladybug and Cat Noir. They've got to take down this villain created by the big bad villain called Hawk Moth, who wants their superpowers in these forms called Miraculouses. They defeat the villain every time, so their powers don't get taken. The big bad guy's like, I'll be back, and that's pretty much what each episode was mostly like in the first season, with the exception of a couple of episodes explaining how they became superheroes in the first place, and the cliffhanger which led directly into the first episode of season two. So season one was very episodic, very much slice of life, not really changing the status quo very much, kind of the way first seasons of a lot of shows are. They don't really sla slash or dump you right into things most of the time they try to get you to warm up to the characters and go, okay, here's the story, this is kind of the way the formula is. And then by the second season they change things up, which I am glad because, at least for the older viewers of the show, I don't know how much longer they would stick around if it kept up the usual filler episodic formula. But now th things, at least from what I've seen so far in the first couple episodes of season two, things are getting more intense. We're getting more background, we're getting more lore on the origins of the superhero miraculous pieces and where they came from and how we're in the situation we are now where some of them are missing and some of them aren't and the story behind that. We're getting the glimpses behind the big bad villains, exactly what's going on, what might have happened that led to basically the situation we got now with our new two superheroes. And along with that, also beginning to get character development for several of these characters, because 
I will admit some of them did feel very one-dimensional, especially, especially Chloe, who was kind of your stereotypical mean girl. We're finally sort of getting some info and some progression in her character, along with a couple other characters as well. So even if it does kind of go back to that ladybug and cat noir take down villain, minor villains every day sort of thing, if they if they keep that balanced out with the added character growth and depth that we saw in the first two episodes, I think it's gonna it's gonna be a good season. It's gonna take what they established in the first season and actually do something with it. So I'm looking forward to seeing more episodes of that and seeing exactly where they take that. And that's pretty much all I gotta say is season two looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Looks like it's actually gonna get into some more extensive detailed things which I'm excited about. I'm not really a person that's a fan of filler episodes or typical formulaic episodes. It's kind of one of the reasons why I have a hard time getting into anime. It's kind of why I had a hard time even starting the Avatar Last Airbender series, just because I was aware that those have a lot of filler. Granted, the Last Airbender series had good filler. It, it was fine. But I've got this thing. It's like, unless you develop your characters or develop your overall plot in some way, it's... It, there's just no point. That's just... I don't want to say it's bad writing, but... It feels, I don't know, lazy, unless the purpose of your show is to not have a continuous plot. At least have character development, you know? <laughs> you gotta you gotta keep the viewers engaged somehow. So it's good to see that Miraculous Ladybug is going to do that. And I'm excited to see more, and that is all I have. I told you it was going to be short. But we're still going to have a lot more of exciting cartoon corners coming up, especially coming up with more Miraculous Ladybug stuff. I might eventually talk about DuckTales. I've kind of been watching that on the sidelines. We'll see. If there's like any huge DuckTales episode, I might talk about that. And then, of course, we got Star coming up in November. That's going to be a big one. But for now, if you liked this tiny ramble on Miraculous Ladybug, go ahead and give a thumbs up and press that like button. And don't forget to comment and subscribe if you want to check out other Cartoon Corners. We have a whole playlist of Cartoon Corners right here for you to check out. Most of it's on Rick and Morty right now, but as more new episodes of cartoons come out, we'll definitely get more covered, so it's not just Rick and Morty all the time. <laughs> and that is all for now. I will see all of you next time.